Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can use a script from Gravity Wolf in your init.c file on your Daisy private community server so that when new players spawn in on your Daisy uh, maps they'll spawn in with a loadout of items that you can choose um, and you can have a number of different presets for these loadouts and they'll spawn in with a, a random selection of them so what that kind of means is you'll end up with things like um, kind of like this where you can spawn in a player with a backpack, uniform, a weapon, food, that sort of stuff. Um, like this kind of thing. And it's very easy to do. Um, and the, 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 kind of the way that you put the presets in looks like this. So here's an example of a template for uh, an AK-47 base class. So we've got, got like the bag at the top, beanie hat, balaclava, jacket, canteen, so all the food and stuff like that. And then at the bottom you'll see we've got the AK-74 with the buckstock, um, handguard, battery for the optic and the optic and then some ammunition to go with it. And then you also have common items which, which players can have. Um, so if you look at the instructions, and again I'll put the, the link to uh, Gravity Wolf's um, GitHub uh, depository um, so you can look at it. He, he tells you how to do it and basically what you do is you do the init.c adjustment and then you run uh, your server once and then it puts in a folder where you can put this stuff in and then you can make up, as I say, you can make up these classes. However, what I've done is I've put together some files on my GitHub depository that will allow you to upload these pre-made ones. So you'll kind of get it into, if you look at them and start to play around with them, you get an idea of how it works. Um, and it, and it could be, and it's, it's, it's pretty simple once you get it into your head, kind of how it works. So the first thing uh, you'll want to do is go over to your, um, your, uh, your Daisy uh, community server. So I'm using Nitrado as an example here, and you can access it via the web interface or the, um, or the, uh, the the FTP if you want. So I'm going in via the web interface here. And we're just going to find the file browser. And then you'll go into Daisy standalone. And then what you want to find is your missions file, MP mission. Um, and within the, this, then you'll have the map that you're working with. So in this case, um, this is a Namalsk uh, uh, server. So I'm going to go into the Namalsk. Um, and then the file you're looking for is init.c, this one here. So what you want to do is you want to download the init.c file, and then you want to make a backup, and then you want to open it up in your favourite um, um, favorite web, uh, your favourite text editor. So this is Notepad++. Alternatively, you could use your FTP to access the file. So here we've got um, FileZilla. So as you could see here, I've connected up. We could go into MP Missions. Go into Namalsk, um, and then down the bottom, there's the init.c. So I could, I could download that file um, from there, and then uh, and then edit it. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to Gravity Wolf's um, GitHub, and you want to download the zip of his uh, init.c file, and you want to download. Whoop, the zip of my templates and then when you download them here we go so you'll end up with this and extract them you'll end up with a spawn loadout thingy and you want to open his init.c file in your text editor so it will be next to your your, your proper one so what we've got here is this is my init.c file from my the um, server now remember if there is an update to the game um, it could be that the uh, the init.c file gets overwritten, so you'll have to put this in again. Um, and what you're looking for in your original init.c file is the bit where it says, um, here we go, come down here, class mission, class custom mission server. That's the bit you're looking for there. So where are, here we go, so here it is. So let's go back up to the top. So they normally have something about weather at the top, often in init.c's. Let's see if it is in this one. Yeah, you have a bit about weather. Then you scroll down and you see the bit that says class custom mission mission server. So what you want to do um, in 
um, the spawn out link, spawn out loadout thingy. You want to copy everything below class, well, and including class custom mission server. All this text here. That's it. And you can go right down to the bottom. And you copy that. Then go over to your init.c from your file. And then you want to select all of this stuff. All this script. And then you want to paste that on top. Now I've already done it, so, so I don't need to do it. And that, what you pasted in is that's the script to create the, fo the, the folders for your... Um, for your loadouts on your server and it'll be the script that sorts out what your what your players are wearing so so what you'd want to do now is you'd want you'd want once you've um, done that you'd want to save that file oops you want to save the file um, and then you'd want to go back to your um, server and then upload the uh, in the uh, edited in it.c file whether that be through the web interface or through FileZilla, whichever works for you. Then you want to stop the server, and then you want to restart the server. And then if we go back here, if you then go to um, the root of your server, and then go into the config folder, Actually, I'm probably jumping forward a little bit. So the config folder is the folder that's created on your server um, that has settings in. If you've got things like um, Zomber, Zomberry admin tools or uh, community framework or um, uh, community online tool set up, you know where you have to put things in like your, your Steam ID? This is, the, this is in the config um, folder. Um, now, it, sometimes it's not called config. Sometimes it could, could be called profiles. It can be called anything, um, but it, generally the ones are config or profiles is what it tends to be called. If you're not sure, click through a few, and you're looking for, for something that says data cache and users in it. it normally has those, and it normally have a load of reports and loads of crash reports on my one. <laughs> Uh, so it has like loads of reports in, and what you're looking, for, what you should see now is after you've restarted the server with your init.c on there, you should see a new folder that says spawn loadout. If we click into that, your pro yours will just have a kits folder. It probably doesn't have common items in it yet, but these are the things we want to we want to we want to look at now. Um, remember, we said to download my um, GitHub, uh, the uh, download the zip and extract it. So what you'll end up then with on your computer is these files here. So if you open all those up in your um, text editor, you can kind of see what they're doing. So the common items that's applied to all the players is the high capacity vest with a smoke grenade on it, military belt, working gloves, military boots, tactical baking can, a couple of those. And then what I've done is the characters have some, some different clothes on but then common kit. So if we kind of... Uh, so the, the top sort of five lines tend to be different for all the characters. So this one's got a, a green uh, big bag and a M65 jacket. This one's got a um, camo bag and an olive M65 jacket. That's like the field jacket. This one's got a mountain, a big hiking bag, and a black hiking jacket. Um, where this one has a um, black uh, big uh, b bag and the autumn coloured jacket. Um, and then down the bottom, then they've got similar stuff all the way through. Then down the bottom, you've got kind of the different um, main weapons they have. So there's an AK-74 one. There's an M4A one. There's a Sega, the automatic shotgun one. And there's the Tundra... Um, hunting rifle, the Winchester 70. Um, and they've got optics on and they've got some ammunition to go with them as well. So it's a really good starting loadout to, to get, get your guys get, get your guys started. So you can make some changes to these. The, the way that this um, script works is it can be a bit fiddly in where it puts items, as in putting those items either in the bag or, or in a player's other parts of the inventory. And after playing around with it a little bit, I found that this, doing it this way works. Um, 
but it, what it does mean is that certain things um, you've got to keep copy and pasting across to put on put on the on the different uh, players. But doing it like this, this this definitely works. And I've got it working on a few of my servers. But by all means, you know, play around with the play around with what what the players have got on. Restart your server and see what happens. Remember, this really helps if you've got a local server to play around with, because that can uh, make things go a little bit faster. So when you're happy with um, these, and oh, one thing I would say is you'll notice that all these names, they're just the standard names from the types.xml. Um, so that's what makes this, this script so cool. You know, there's no mucking around with, uh, with um, like tags and mins and maxes and scripts. You just write in what it's called in the types.xml. In fact, the most complicated thing is finding the names from the types.xml. And you can put them in, and then you can do them that way. Now, once you're happy with that, um, go back to your server, go back to your web interface, and just upload the files. So upload the common items one, just in the spawn loadout directory. And inside the kits one, this is where you upload the AK74, the M4 template, the Sega template, and the Tumbra template. And you upload them into there. And if you do any more, just upload them into there. And these are just text files. Um, and you can have as many of these different um, templates as you like and you could change them for different events and, and, and stuff like that and again you could do it via the web interface or again you could do it via um, uh, you could do it via uh, f your, your FTP client you know doing it via um, F FileZilla in this particular case um, it's really cool it works very well um, and it gives you the ability to as I say easily add different types of um, templates to people um, and the th remember the other thing you can do as well is you can just disable these or delete them or upload different ones so you could really mix it up or you could make like 20 you could have 30 of these can you so you had lots of different loadouts you could have um, role-playing loadouts you know like a doctor or a sniper and, and, and stuff like that but anyway that's all up to your imagination that's all you're limited by and that is uh, basically how you can install and use gravity wolf's spawn loadout thingy script so big thank you to gravity wolf um for uh for creating this it's very very useful very very helpful um, especially for people like me who haven't got a clue about how to code um and it works very very well okay that's enough for me if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more the same for subscribe and i will see you again soon